Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm uh, here at the uh, exactly where I left off with Liliana, and I'm ready to uh, go out to the. Wow, that was weird. What happened there? Hit boxes. Whee! <laughs> uh, I'm ready to go out uh, to the war table and update on some of that stuff, then get ready to go out and you know do some actual journeying and adventuring again because it's been so long with the stuff your Elysian parties. But might as well read something around here because it's been a while since I checked in on one of the many many notes around here. I've been kind of slowly spacing them out because there's so freaking many of them. A fine time to close a border. The news is dire. There are rumors that our warden brothers and sisters in Ferelden have all perished. Without the Grey Wardens, the Blight will take Ferelden. Then it will undoubtedly, undoubtedly spread. It will go north to Navarra and the marches. It will con come west to the Orlais. At the head will be an archdemon, and in its wake will come thousands upon thousands of darkspawn. We must be ready to, s to stare squarely into the eyes of oblivion. Many of you have asked why we remain here when such threats are mounting in the east. The problem, you see, is not a new one for us. Politics. To say Ferelden and Orle have been at odds is an understatement. These two are like dogs and cats. We wardens are Orlesians by address only. But that does not seem to matter to Ferelden's leaders. Word is that King of, the King of Ferelden is dead, and his successor, Loghain Mactir, decrees that no warden set foot in the country. Mactir, a national hero who helped expel invading Orlesian forces from Ferelden, seems to have it out for our order, too. Maybe he doubts our abilities. Maybe he is more foolish than the, than the history books make him out to be. This is why we must wait, even as Ferelden willingly uh, uh, welcomes its fate. An address by Warden Constable Blackwall of Valchivin to his recruits, 930 Dragon. Wow, we actually have an explanation then of uh, directly from Blackwall himself as to why he didn't take part, uh, to why he didn't help with the Blight in the first game. I was confused for the longest time because I was like, wait, the Ferelden, the Ferelden Wardens are dead. I'm like, I, I, know, I know that they, they suffered losses, but I don't, I don't think they all died during that mission I sent them on. Th that's because this is old. This is from all the way back when Dragon Age Origin was happening, and uh, Blackwall explains here that as Orlesians, they weren't allowed in to help with the Blight because they were untru- uh, Loghain uh, mistrusted both uh, the leader- they, he mistrusts Or- Orlesians, and he mistrusts Black Wardens. Uh, Black- war Grey Wardens, sorry. Uh, I got Blackwall the Grey Warden. Got a little thrown off there. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I wonder if I can survive this fall. Whee! That's silly. That table should be so broken. How's it going, Solus? <laughs> Getting a judge's favor. So for those, those of you that remember, we're doing a series of missions at the war table to help out Josephine because someone, uh, you know, threatened her life. You know, the usual. Uh, Inquisitor. Judge Ald has signed the papers we needed to present the du parquets the two parakets, with as noble nobility again. There is now only one step left. A royal minister must ratify them. Please come see me when you ha when you have a chance. The judge passes his compliments, by the way. Apparently, apparently the hunt was a marvelous bit of sport, and our uh, soldiers acquitted themselves bravely against something called a screaming man-eater. The infantry reassures me that the injured will make a full recovery. So we, we sent troops in to help Josephine directly. So now it's time. To, I think it's not. I think that means it's time to go. I don't think the new quest shows up yet. So I think I, I need to go talk to Josephine again to, to ask about what the next step is. Okay. Hello, Josephine. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakets a lordship? We must persuade Minister Belize to ratify the papers. She's in charge of these matters of rank. The minister will be at a small fete thrown by the Marquis Wiscott. I'll get you an invitation. Go to the war table and find a way to met Belize. Okay, so we're st looks like we're still going to be talking about yet another, uh... It's gonna be yet another war table mission. Speak with Minister Belize at party. Ambassador Montliet, forgive the late reply. Wonderful as it is to hear from you. I have just ridden from trouble in the Dales. The Civil War has made managing my holdings even more difficult. It would be much easier if I had the ear of the Council of Heralds. But alas, fortune has left me poor in that regard. The Inquisitor is always welcome at one of my humble fa uh, fates. I only re re uh, regret that I may not be as grand as I would like. Please, dear lady, promise me you will warn this war his worship that my preoccupation will preclude a richer evening with my guests. 
with deep regard, Marquis Viscount. From Josephine, she says, The Marquis is clearly fishing for an introduction to the council before you attend his party. It was interesting to see how much has changed in Halam Shiral. And so little. Madame Meprise is a fixture. The sun will grow cold before she retires. See, the Marquis is clearly uh, fishing for an introduction to the council before you attend his party. I'll arrange one. All right, so yeah. I'll just, so all that, all that matters here is just Josephine sets up a meeting between the two, and then hopefully we can speed things along through the, uh, the exhausting bureaucracy that is Orle Orlesian anything. Really, all forms of Orlesian anything are just the worst. Okay, so let's go for... Yeah, we, we can aid those impacted by the Civil War to follow up on our most recent story mission. The Imperial Army will aid the Inquisition's forces against Corypheus, but they must also address lingering issues at home. Weakness in the veal, no doubt heightened due to rifts, have resulted in demons of the, on the road between Valforet and Montsimad. Uh, this would demand a call to action at the best of times. Unfortunately, the increased number of travelers on the roads, merchants attempting to restore trade and displace civ civilians returning home after the war, has made the situation worse. Uh, the head of the Imperial Army has requested assistance from the Inquisition in subduing the threat. So it's just a general chaos management problem. Often often helpful just to put troops on the ground, but I'll check what Liliana has to say too. I doubt the army needs the assistance of a full complement of soldiers. My agents can scout the roads and divert travelers away from the worst areas. A chance to solidify our alliance and prove ourselves their equal. A joint venture will increase our understanding of Imperial Army structure and tactics. I'm going to go with Colin here. Uh, Leliana ha has her own discreet ways of handling things, and oftentimes it's easy to just go straight to her because her, uh, her solutions always sound smart, but frankly, being a big show of force is a good thing to do because we're trying to uh, make... Not only are we... We're not just trying to uh, do what's best for us. We, uh, like, uh, uh, we're just not... We're not just trying to do what necessarily is the most obvious... I mean, the most... Or the most effective solution for the problem, but thinking about overarching issues like... We want them to see us as allies, so us very clearly assisting in the problem with troops, that that sends a message. All right. So we'll send in Colin. Now we need to find a mission for Leliana. I'm not necessarily sure what to go for, but oh, anytime there's a there's missing blade, the missing blades of Alicos sounds like like if we have to find someone, that sounds like something to send Leliana on. The missing blades of Alicos. Adar, I know you're busy yelling, telling the hairy eyes what to do. Humans need a lot of direction. That's fine. We have a problem. Karis took a squad out on a simple caravan escort and it hasn't reported back. I sent Ish Ashad and Ashad 2 to look for him. There's someone named Ashad and Ashad 2. Okay. And they never reported back. I hope you can find them. We're running out of Ashads. <laughs> How and we only had one of the the one Karis. Even if he is annoying, his squad's alright though. Uh, I'd really like him back. I guess... I guess uh, Ashad and I forget that Canari often are only referred to as their title and not their actual, like any sort of given name. So that might be part of it too. Liliana says my agents can track the lost mercenary squad wherever they want. Let's see what we have. There might have been alternate options for the other characters, but the the uh, I went I went for with Liliana from the get go because I chose that mission specifically for her because it seemed like something that her scouts can generally take care of. So it just seems like a, a smart thing to do. Uh, so what I want to do, obviously. Now that we've wrapped up the next story mission, is I was waiting until the next story mission before I checked out any of the next regions that I haven't explored yet, because I wanted to save those for afterwards. And one of those regions ha ha plays an important role in me getting my uh, specialization class, so I think I think it's time for me to go do that. So actually, yeah, I think it's I think it's about time for me to figure out my specialization class. First of all, though, I'm gonna have to review my quest log to figure out uh, which location that is. So down here you see all of our main next things. We have the What Pride Had Rot, which is the next big story mission we can go after at the cost of 40 uh, power. We have Liberate Empress du Leon, uh, Make Contact in the Emerald Graves, and the Exalted Plains. And the Exalted Plains is going to be where I need to go to uh, progress with my specialization class. So, colon. Our spies looked into the breakdown of, contra of contact between the Capital and Imperial Army forces and the Dales. Following the events of Halam Shirel, Valrayao should have received confirmation of withdrawal from battalions in the Exalted Plains. No such confirmation was received. The last communique from Gaspard's Marshal reported from Gaspard's Marshal reported a rash of desertions. After that, it's silence. I agree that this warrants further investigation. Do what you will, and my agents will learn will lend support. Leliana. Forces. 
We can march soldiers into the Exalted Plains and position scouts in strategic areas. If lines of communications are down, we must be prepared for anything. So we're going in blind. It's a good thing we have Scout Harding around. Hopefully she'll point, uh, she'll point something out for us. We have established an outpost in the Exalted Plains. Lee Scout Harding is en route and waiting for their orders. Pretty much what, what it was there to be expected. Let's get in there. Okay, I, I was about to hop right in, but look at this. So we have Sarah, and all these all these people look normal so far. We have uh, the alternate uh, p portrait for uh, Varric. Then things start to change, though. Blackwall cannot be selected. He's, he's on a horse somewhere in his image. Looks very downtrodden, and he's got an X on him, so you can't pick him at all. And then, hey, Cole's definitely gotten full spirit, apparently, because he's just a glowing white person. Huh, Blackwall cannot be selected. Maybe I'm gonna want to talk to him. I may, need, I may need to go talk to him in camp at some point. Maybe even right now. I might want to cancel out of this. Nope, can't really cancel out of this. I have to get going. Okay, so let's pick it. Let's pick our party. So I want Solus. Yeah, let's. Should I go Solus and uh, I could go Solus and, and Dorian if I want. That could be fun. Why not, Dorian? Solus and Cole. People have suggested not to stick with Vivian all the time, and hey, why not mix things up again anyway? It, it might be interesting to see, uh... Was it, uh... Solus has a very specific re relationship with Cole, but it'd be interesting to see how Dorian interacts with him, because obviously Vivian's not a fan. But yeah, surrounding our spirit character with different magic users could lead to some interesting dialogue. Inquisitor, welcome to the Exalted Plains, a place with a long and bloody history. Even now, the region is volatile. This was a front in the Civil War. Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales, recently emerged and adding to the chaos. What history were you talking about? After the fall of Halam Sharal, what remained of the Elven army met the forces of the Exalted March here. When offered a chance to lay down their arms and surrender, they refused. This rebel group. Tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters, tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress or the Grand Duke. Now they want the Dales for their own. Worse, they're more organized than we anticipated. Be wary. What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish Elves. There must be a clan camp somewhere on the plains. That will be all. Thank you. With the Rifts and the Undead, the Orlesians have lost ground. Most have been driven back to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to re-establish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. And here we are in the Exalted Plains. Path of Flame is the name of this particular spot. So we're gonna have four rifts right off the bat, and 21 regions. This could be a huge area. You, what do you have to say? What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Let me guess, another requisition that I'm probably not very interested in taking care of. Oh, a geologic survey. Goody, I love throwing my resources away. So here's a vague look at the area. We have two landmarks immediately. Oh, here's a layout. So we have a vague idea of the overall shape of the area based on the number of camps. So, two rifts going out here, another rift over here. They're actually laid out in a way I could almost do a loop and just go all the way around through all of them. Let's see. Investigate the Western Ramparts. Ooh, somewhere we need to go with, uh, Vivian. We have Exalted Plain, uh, two camps. Surprisingly close together, too. Uh, no, ooh, the last place to take Dorian. And a place to take Cassandra. So we have three- At some point I'll probably be here with Vivian, Dorian, and Cassandra just for the purpose of grabbing all these things at once. Actually, Dorian's already with me, so this, this one's fine. Uh, so this will be easy to investigate. I think Dorian needs to level up, though. Yeah, so give me a moment. The Exalted Plains. It is appropriate that we pick the Exalted Plains as our field of battle. It was here, centuries ago, that the Dalish Kingdom met its bitter end. The holdouts of the Elven Army, marking, making their last stand, refusing to surrender against the champions of Andraste, the Templar, the Sister, and the Nobleman Patron. The, the, champions is just, the, the Champions' cause was just, and their path led them to victory. The Plains were henceforth called Exalted. Someone once said that these fields are characterized by equal measures of beauty and strife. 
This description will hold true for the foreseeable future. The strife we bring to the Dales will be quickly forgotten, however, if we fight hard and fight well and earn a definitive victory. Let the knowledge that you strike in the name of true emperor encourage and guide you. Tr truth and righteousness prevailed on the plains long ago. Make her willing, it will again. A message from Marshal Bastien Prost to his uh, soldiers before the battle was joined. Resources found here. Elf fruit, spindleweed, blood lotus, royal elf fruit, black lotus, deep mushroom, rash vine, embryum, rash vine, nettle, iron, serpent stone, bloodstone, viridium, and obsidian. That's a large number of the resources in general. Alright, we are ready to adventure. Dorian's here as our necromancer. Not very used to his moveset, so this is going to be interesting. I just can't picture myself not having Solus in the party. He's, he's such a good defensive character. He used to be my barrier bitch, but now he's on top of barriers. He also has all of his special... He, like, he has the freezing ability and just a bunch of random AoE uh, damage over time. So I might switch from Cole back to Sarah at some point. Just to mix, thing, mix things up, it's just uh, just to keep th a little variety here. But for now, we'll stick with Cole. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Josephine's already done. <laughs> I could go back there and probably finish the last step and then go on with her quest. But we'll do that later. First of all, I would like to progress my personal quest. There we go. Guardians of the Path. This plaque, the plaque on this statue reads, "Let the eternal flame purify your soul." Let's look at my quest real quick. Because we have, we have the local stuff, sure, but, uh, we'll go to my current quest. Way of the Champion. So, uh, for this, I need to fight champions for the heraldic symbols at the Gillenin Gro Gillenin's Grove, Halen Sulan, and the Desolate Bank in the Exalted Plains. I, I'm not sure about the structure there. I'm not sure if the Desolate Bank's in the Exalted Plains only, or if all three of them are all in the Exalted Plains. It's a little vague in its wording. I'm hoping they're all here. So my, cho my, my goal is here is going to be to, to duel three champions and requ acquire writing on the champion's methods. Uh, readings can be found among the belongings of followers who share the discipline or, if unavailable, amongst the wares th of the book merchant in Mount Val Royale. So, it says warriors who share this discipline. I wonder... Huh. So, I, I might be able to talk to Blackwall, actually, to find that those kind of belongings if he's not too mad at me right now. Or, maybe one of the people in the area will give me that stuff when I fight them. We'll find out. I'm gonna head towards this question mark to see what I'm, what there is to discover over there. Grabbing a little rash, rash find. Oh! Right off the bat, we already have enemies right outside camp. So... Freeman Guardsmen. They're a bunch of level 11s. Dear Lord. Look at this. Look at that. Level 18. I don't... <laughs> I swear I'm not trying to break this game. It's just they give me so opportunity to fight it at any sort of reasonable pace. Uh, oh well. Let's try to get a, uh, I'll do- I'll go for a long shot. Fun times! Yay! It's funny, because you guys are all going down comically fast. Whee! <laughs> Oops, I thought he was dead already. That's what I get for making assumptions. Although I don't know what I'm getting exactly, I'm still winning, so I guess I'm not really being punished for my silliness. Dear lord, Cole does a lot of damage. It might be fun just to control him during the- during this section. That'll be a snappy little bit of variety, huh? I can just go through this whole region playing as Cole. Claimed. Memorials of the Second Exalted March. The Path of Flame. Remember where Andraste's champions first set foot in the Exalted Plains? Called Dirth Havarn by the Elves. Halem Sherell's dark heart was conquered, but one last challenge came from the Elves, who would not submit to the Maker. They gathered upon the plain. Our champions answered their call. Marching in Andraste's light on the on the path of flame, Lord Demetrius Aaron, uh, Sister Amity, and Sir Brandis of Laxaline called the Silver Helm. This has got to be a terrible place to talk to elves that don't already hate you. I mean, I mean, to talk to elves like they're, they're they probably or they're just going to hate you in this type of area. Let's see, how's my spellcasters doing? Spellcasters dispel and oh. Oh, right, Vivian was my Dispeller. It's a good thing that, uh, Dorian also has Dispel then, because, uh, unfortunately... Oh, shit, I forgot to... I made a mistake. I'll be right back. <laughs> I need to go swap out Vivian's equipment so that Dorian can wear it. Alright, so we're back with Dorian, and now he looks very different. He was wearing that red equipment earlier, and now he's wearing what looks... I, I, let's see if I can get in line of... get into the, uh, bright light so I can see this better. There we go. He's wearing what looks like straight-up armor at this point, although not quite. Close enough, though. 
So this is different. Freaking, wow, Cole looks very armored, especially for an archer. Of course, Vasti is a walking pile of metal at this point. But yeah, now Cole is wearing uh, Vivian's armor. It's interesting that every single character has their own visual design, design, so you can put each armor set on each character, and it looks completely different. It's actually kind of neat, because it means each character has a specific style, rather than in other games, everyone kind of gets amalgamized together. All right. Guardians of the Path. The plaque on the statue reads, Let the light of Andraste lift your spirits. So we're going to move forward, and we're going to try to go and find all of those, uh... All them pests. Oh, what's that? What's this? It's about to be dead is what it is. Bye. Oh, is it dead yet? Oh, there's another one. Hello, surprise. How you doing? You're not going to last very long. Corpse archers, don't make me laugh. <laughs> So moving forward, this, uh, this whole area is burned down. This would be a bad place to meet elves as a human, because they're not big fans of us, and this is... This is not just, like... This isn't just like an American meeting Na Native American Indians or something. Like, this is like an American meeting Indians while you're, like, physically standing on the Trail of Tears. Like, if there's anywhere where wounds are going to be still raw, it's going to be right here. Oops. Oh, interesting. I probably was able to cast that the whole time. Oh yeah, I can. I have, I have a circle ability where I mark someone so they make take more damage. But it's hard to tell whether it's active or not because it looks bright red. Because everything gets everything gets a vaguely reddish appearance when you can't cast it. So it's a little unfortunate that uh, all of Cole's abilities in his subclass all look like they're currently on cooldown when they're not. Or like you can't cast them. So uh, I think I want to head south. Huh. I was ready to head south for those rifts, but right ahead of us, we immediately have this quest spot. So we might as well just wander straight into there, I suppose. Hopefully we'll start finding some champions of the just or something. Looks like we have a quest over here. Oh, that guy doesn't look- that guy's not friendly. Deal with that guy. Down you go. Is he dead already? Oh, he already died. Well, so much for that. This guy was just standing there. Weird. Like, dude, you know there's a corpse like four feet away from you, right? You probably should be fighting him. Because he's a corpse. They're not friendly. You just gonna keep facing that direction? Anyone stop these things? Are you Imperial Army? Yes, Your Worship. I fight on the side of Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, rightful Emperor of Olay. The Civil War is over. Why are you still here? What? What do you mean it's over? But... We need to alert the Marshal, but no one's been able to get into Fort Reverson for weeks. What's happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here, somewhere within these trenches. It started when those free men showed up. Strange lights, like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? I should be going. That's awkward. Is he Elysian, I assume? So, <clears throat> sorry, I was only, I missed a few pieces of dialogue about that. But it would appear uh, we've encountered someone who is concerned about the Civil War in Orlais. Or the Elysian Civil War that is completely resolved at this point. Because I already went to, uh, I, already did, I already did Wicked Hearts before coming here, because I designated in my head that this was going to be one of the locations I don't go to. Ooh, new schematic for Battle Mage Cowl. I figured this would be one of the locations I don't go to until I finish with the whole next story mission, just because it'd be good to break them up accordingly. So, what does this area look like now? Question mark's gone. Another exclamation point right over here. May as well just select that accordingly so I can make my way there. This very, this definitely looks like a battlefield. Wow. Some extensive detail here. Someone just probably spent hours placing stuff in here. All right. New friends. Hello. How's that feel, buddy? Feeling good today? Yeah, these corpse archers are not going to be much of a threat. This will probably be a pretty... This whole region will probably be a relatively quick sweep of me just completing all the quests really rapidly. That's fine. Man, you can tell that Cole's not someone I play as very often because these button maps... These buttons are not mapped out in order by like how frequently I'd use any of them. Which is pretty much how I'd use it. It's like the face button should be frequently used. Yep, that's my, like, thousand cut style move. Or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I forgot what's- Ooh, hello. <laughs> I just pre- I'm so sorry. I'm stupid. 
I, ju I just finished playing the entirety of the uh, Shadow of Mordor DLC, so I just tried to hit X to roll away when that guy was about to stab me. I need to reprogram myself between games. Whoopsie. We have a uh, an enemy that's in zombie mode. Uh, as a necromancer, Dorian can apply the, uh, a spell to people where when they die, they just sort of come back as a ghost. That helps us. It's pretty neat. That guy's dead in one hit. Oh, that guy noticed us. We're gonna have to fight now. It is pretty funny that it turned... I went up from, like, just being a damage boost to having an ability that's basically like, I open the fight by murdering someone straight up. That's cool. Wow, I just... I just shoot over there and just started pummeling on someone. It's a magical barrier. Oh, looks like, I, looks, looks like I'm breaking away at it. I believe there's a magical effect on my, uh... Ow, dick. Let's just get it. Let's deal with this guy that's right in my face first. Yeah, I think I have enough, uh... I think I have enough spellcasting element on my weapon that I'm able to break down a magical barrier with my bow, which is somewhat amusing to me. So we can, we can burn this, apparently. Bodies piled in a pit. Undead rising. Someone intended this. There may be more of these pits. We'll have to find them. Oh, someone's creating their own little Walking Dead situation around here. And by, uh, by wiping some fools out, uh, by wiping some fools out, by, uh, finding these, uh, corpse pits and burning them, we can at least hinder their efforts right now. Obviously, there's a lot of undead already around, so those ones just have to get shot a lot. Oops, missing some loot around here. Don't want to miss too much. There we go. So, champions dueled for heraldry. I've already done one. Interesting. So I need to find two more champions when I've already found one already. I think, I, I assume that one guy I found... Oh, that wasn't even a long shot. That wasn't even my full draw. That was just a, uh... That was just a fun opening shot. Okay. That's such a powerful character. A thousand cuts or whatever it's called. Plum, 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 plum. That's so cool looking. I kind of wish that I could see... I wish the camera zoomed in on the actual attack when it was happening, though, just because, from my perspective, it looks... It looks super far away. Oh, I missed him, didn't I? My bad. Is that guy attacking me? Oh, that's... that's... never mind, that's Dorian. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was going on there at first. Corpse Archer, let's deal with him. Yep, that dealt with him. <laughs> Do a full draw. Pew! Wow, that does a lot of damage. Dorian's devastating. Oh, I can't do my, my crazy attack yet. Uh, Vasti... Are you gonna... What are you doing, Vasti? You're supposed to be harder to kill than this. Are we... Uh... Let's look into what the ability is called really quick. Uh... Really quick, I just want to check... Hidden Blades. Okay, so now I know what that's called. I need to check in with Vasti real quick, because I realize I haven't changed his behavior. It says follow Vivian. Whoopsie. We'll say... Con we'll fo say follow controlled character. Uh... Specifically, that should mean it'll attack my target. I think. I hope. Hopefully, that won't mean that he's. Ho hopefully, that won't mean that he's just gonna stand around and do nothing. Uh, who's, who's, you're set to defend Dorian. You're set to follow Vasti. We'll say. We'll tell you to follow Vasti. I want the party to be somewhat solidified. I have. I'm using. There's pretty old uh, AI <laughs> AI situation set up for some of these characters. Okay, so. We've used one potion so far. That's that's fine. We're just generally clearing house anyway. This isn't a, this isn't really a slow and tactical uh, part of the series. It's more of a let's just go exploring and hitting things with swords. Fun, fun. That's why I'm playing as. Uh, that's why I'm having fun playing as this character. Last words to my loved ones. If this letter reaches you, you know that I died and died well in service of the noble Grand Duke. I did not run like others did when the battle grew too much. I did not lose faith in the Maker. I was courageous till the end. Yours always, Julian. Huh. That's normally things you hear someone else say about someone after they've dead, after they've died, but hearing someone say that about themselves somehow loses some of the impact, because it's just like, oh yeah, look how awesome I am. I'm incredible. I'm so courageous and perfect and strong and handsome. <laughs> Please love me. So if I continue through here, oh, there's a barrier to break. I'll just start smacking it. So everyone else will take part two. Do full draw. Why aren't you guys shooting it right now? Acquire my target. You guys are being silly right now. Can you please start hitting it? I'm playing as Dorian right. Oh, weird. The camera was like weird. Looked like it was weirdly focused on uh, on Solus for a moment there. Oh well. 
What's gonna be back here? Oh, another bar another body to burn. Right, so the barriers are blocking those. Each of the each of the places that we need to uh, burn to get rid of the the uh, incoming zombies are being protected by a magical barrier, probably from the necromancer who set this up in the first place. So now we need to burn a signal horn, which is somewhere around here. What's my second page of skills? Oh, triangle stealth. And square is poison weapons. Okay, that's good to know. I should be using those. Well, what's that gonna do? Oh, to influence, that's always good. How's the quest, though? Is it done? I don't see a pop-up about it right now. Oop, there's a fight happening over there. I guess we'll just get to it then. Okay, so, something I can do is... Oh wait, these guys are all allies. Oh, they're dueling. They're, they're just, it's just normal duels, that's fine. That's racist. <laughs> they all look like Ornstein. That's crazy. So, what do we have here? Return to Corporal Rosalind, so that's gonna be our next, uh... Our next little uh, story peak of us uh, rectifying the situation here. I'm fully prepared to move uh, move on and do something else, but before we do that, I'd like to just wrap up this little zone. Hop! Okay, there we go. <laughs> it, it is fun being able to just randomly go into stealth mode. Oh, little piece of loot. Did you see how they cut through those things? Yeah, we're, we're incredible. I like to think that the guy's talking about me only because he can't see me, <laughs> because I'm invisible right now. That he wouldn't be saying that to my face, but when, I, when I'm invisible, I get to hear about how awesome I am. World's a mess. They did it. I can't believe they retook the ramparts. Maybe if we got word to the marshal. But Fort Reverson surrounded by undead and locked down. What's happened here? It started when those free men showed up. Strange lights. Like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? I should be going. I need to remember to switch to Vasti whenever I approach someone to talk to them, because it's a little awkward being someone else. That used to be a thing, actually. In Bioware games, you could switch- there's a lot of Bioware games where you can switch characters at will, but they would automatically cut to your main character during all dialogue conversations. Unfortunately, a lot of the- and, like, that, that happens in this game, too, when there's an actual cutscene, but... So often they don't trigger a dialogue cutscene, and that leads to that awkward position where someone's just standing in front of a dude. I kind of- I just wish this game had- I, I've said this before, so it's kind of redundant to say it again, but... I wish this game just had those cutscenes all the time. Oh, that's the first Enchanter one, so that's not important right now. Uh... At this point I might as well just head up to the next, uh, camp and see what I find along the way. It's like, one of the closest things to do. Let's take a look around. Under protection of the Inquisition, you bet your ass it is. Okay. But yeah, I wish that, uh... I don't know why they do it. I wish every single conversation in this game triggered the little cutscene where you talk back and forth and then, like, the camera cuts back and forth and has, you know, camera angles. And the sound is, like, mixed properly and stuff like that. Because when you don't get that, it's kind of a bummer. When you're just sort of like, alright, I'll try to point the camera at them. I don't know, this kind of awkward- Ooh. Got some baddies over here. We also have one of those skulls that finds the Astrariums, but I think it's on top of this ridge. Well, since I've seen these guys, I might as well just get started, right? You're asleep now! Suck it! And bouncy shot. Wow, 5,000 damage. That's that's devastating. That did not work out for him at all. Alright, uh, let's mark that guy to take more damage. And then follow it up with a hidden blades. In him. Oh, he's about to die. Uh, that guy will get hidden blades. Wee. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have been shot. I forgot. I should have been shooting the whole time. I was just looking at my skills for cooldowns. But of course, I could be auto-attacking the whole time for way more damage. That was silly of me. We're fine, though. It's cool. And that guy's a purple man, and now he's dead. Now he's a dead purple man, but he still has a barrier. I'm glad that someone cast barrier on a dead person. Freeman messages. Jocelyn. I don't trust that Gordian fellow. He talks as though he's a religion, but I know he's not. I can hear it in his speech. Tell me you hear it, too. I wonder what he's doing on that rise. He's forbidden... He's forbidden us from going there, but I, I might take a look in a couple nights. Let me know if you want in. Have you heard anything from the Emerald Graves? They say Duhame's gone there to lead the Freeman. Damn, I miss him. He was a good commander. Bastard, but fair. Gus. Aww. 
Yay, we got to... We got to humanize the people we're killing. That makes me feel great about myself. Take a look inside this broken-ass building. We found a circle tome. Oh, that was for Vivian. You know what? I'll just pick that stuff up. So sometimes it's like, oh, certain people want to be with you for this quest because it makes them feel better. But fuck Vivian. <laughs> I like the idea of Vivian not being here. Like, through spite, I can be like, haha, I found it. And we didn't even need your help because fuck you, shitty person. You're a terrible person. How do I... Oh, I have to go up on this rock. That's gonna be a bit of a, a run, isn't it? I don't have immediate access to getting on top of this ridge. Take a look around here, maybe? Because if I go on top of this ridge, then I can go on top of the building from there and pick up whatever is up there. Here we go, progress. I'm kind of surprised rogues don't have any special mobility uh, capabilities. Careful, no, careful. I'm surprised that rogues don't have like, maybe not a double jump, but like a higher jump or like a flip or some sort of ability that makes them more mobile so that they feel more like rogues. What do we have up here? A loot bag and... Oh, it's like a lawn chair someone set up up here. A high ever weave. Really, there's nothing here? There's like, there's a... Look at that, it's like someone was having a snack It's up on this porch. It's like, it's like... I feel so ho at home in California. There's a balcony with a uh, nice chair, a book, a drink, and a... Uh, and a a plate full of food, just looking out at the at the uh, the view. That's neato. So up there, there should be a skull that'll point me towards an astrarium. So I'm gonna want to figure out how to get on top of that mountain on the way around before I move before I move elsewhere. I gotta say, Cole Cole was a very bad uh, Cole was a really bad uh, potion sponge for a while, like almost as bad as Iron Bull. But having him have a uh, bow that generates guard on hit, so good. It has vastly improved his uh, his uh, chances. Let's take the mosaic piece. One of these days I'll finish a mosaic, and then I'll be happy. I mean, one of these days I'll probably finish all of them. I don't know if it'll be on camera. Uh, I don't know. How, I don't know how to. I'm not sure how to handle the series, to be honest, because I know I, I've heard that you can keep playing after you beat the game, the story. Uh, I, I, you have to live with the whatever ramifications of decision you make. But I think that I think you get to keep playing one way or another. Whether it, it fits the story or not. Much like Mass Effect, uh, I believe 2 and 3 let you do that. How do I get to the... How do I get on top of this? Is it over here? So I'll probably finish every quest in the game. I just don't know if I'll do it all on camera. Kind of depends. I'll just ask you guys, I guess. Because <laughs> I, I, I figure at some point I should just beat the story. Like, not necessarily after, until... I'll probably beat the story before I beat all the missions, just because at some point I'll be so freakishly overleveled that why would it, like, it just, just, it completely breaks the game to do every story mission, uh, after, to do story missions after, keep jumping? It kind of breaks the game to do every single side mission and then do the story missions for the entire game, because the sheer number of side quests means you're gonna, you're just gonna completely outlevel all of the story content in a massive way, and that'd be a bummer. So I might have a story finale and then a grand finale to the series or something like that. It's possible. It's kind. Of, it'd be. It's not that far off from doing like a new game plus for Dark Souls as far as extra content goes. Except it's not a new game plus. <laughs> I seriously doubt I'm gonna play this game more than once on this channel. It's just so unwieldy and massive, and I love it. But uh, uh so much of the content would be repeated to justify uh. Like some, like you can make different decisions, but so, the vast majority of the experience would be so identical that I don't think it'd be worth uh, replaying. I think in general, me replaying a game on this channel is going to be pretty rare. Uh, Dark Souls game, all Souls games are like the exception because, and that's a lot. That's largely because it's 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 really exciting to watch someone fight bosses and go through these dangerous areas, and your uh, differences in your specialization lead to massive differences in how the game plays. Whereas in Dragon Age Inquisition, you're always going to have a party that probably has a mage, and it probably has a rogue, and it probably has a warrior, and then some other dude to, ra to round things off. I know some people are crazy and do four per they do like solo playthroughs of the entire game, and that might be something to do when I'm cr if I feel crazy at some point. But I don't know if I do it on this channel. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would definitely be less thorough about side quests at that point. I'm not finding this right now, so I'm going to see you guys in a bit. We're going to jump cut to me finishing this. There it is. It's inside this house down here. Ta-da! 